Hi everyone, welcome to pen.net to begin our file. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to open a file, save it, and navigate through it. So, in this tutorial, you will see how to open the different files, how to save it in different formats, and how to navigate a file inside. You can reach one part of file to other files and use many files together. Net, we will launch pen.net. You can see its uh, default. Uh, uh, UI the screen is called canvas where our whole drawings are done to open a file to pen.net you can go to file and click open so when you will open window will open for the explorer there you can keep it and take a file here I took the file number one and open it if you want to open a multiple file the process is same you can select uh, various files together so many files I have selected and I open it so one by one pen.net will open every file you can see that the every file will be stacked together in the pen.net in different tabs each tab have, will have its own thumbnail on the screen by, by the help of thumbnail you can and go to work on any file and go to any thumbnail and go in another work in another file and similarly go at the different places so you can see that uh, this star this yellow or orange star this yellow and orange star says that there are unsaved changes on this file unless the changes are not saved when you have roughly closed the pen dot net all of the things which are not saved uh, will get lost i am just uh, uh, doing moving it you can see that um, there are many files are open create a new file from scratch and existing file you want to open a new file you can go to the file and create the new now the file will open it will give the size in the pictures you can change the size and you can click ok so default white color canvas in phase will open and on this canvas there will be new file so in the pen.net we know that you need to go to the one part of the file the whole image is adjusted in the window so if you want to see it at zoom it you can press ctrl and move mouse wheel up so wherever the mouse wheel is there when you move up the things will magnify if you press ctrl and move mouse wheel below then it will zoom out so whichever position you will keep mouse uh, mouse pointer and using control the image will be magnified with taking that point as the center for example here I near the cloud I have magnified it if I want in other place I will go this place and then magnify it so it will help you to um, help you to navigate you to move from one side to another side if you remove the control and move mouse wheel up and down you can move above and below the image if you press shift and move the mouse then the image will be moved sideways so you can use this process also sideways and there is another helpful thing that the new, uh, you if you can, uh, click middle mouse wheel then the tool will turn into hand tool and you can just pull and push at any places so this method is helpful to just uh, freely move image from one side to another side if you want to move in the straight uh, move your view in the straight way then use mouse wheel up and down or if you want to move sideways use shift and use mouse wheel up and down so for the zoom you use a control to zoom control lower mouse wheel to zoom out control upper mouse wheel then to zoom in one thing you should notice that the when you do zooming through the zooming of the image the image doesn't change your view your to the size size absolute size of the image which is in the printer whatever media uh, it is as it is so it is magnified so that you can move easily the, this to zoom to uh, also does the same work you go at one place it gets zoomed by different steps 
in the using mouse you can uh, change positions uh, otherwise you can zoom tool and zoom out to here here below the slider uh, you can also have zoom tool if you move it right wise the image will zoom out and if you move left wise the image will zoom down and uh, you can click this uh, plus minus if you want to zoom by your value here putting the number here in the text box here the different percentage are there you just write the number whichever you want and click enter the image will be zoomed out along with this button is the fixed image in the window the image size will be adjusted its view will be adjusted so that all of the image is fixed into the view so this thing using zoom and using the hand tool is very much useful for the uh, image it is uh, in the beginning it feels a little unintuitive but as soon as you get comfortable it you, you will be using it very much as i use this uh, thing and uh, this zoom feature a lot during my and uh, during my work so in the uh, coming uh, tutorial video you will see that doing this uh, also from the one window you can simply use if you want to copy one thing into another so different windows are and different tabs are open you can use select control c and go there and paste so from one image this thing can be transferred to another image using control c and control v so this is how the an images are uh, zoomed now for in the for whatever we change it we apply if we want to save here you can see the red star mark the image will start it says that there are some unsaved changes to save it you can go to file and click the save as so when you save as it will ask for the location so you can select any location there you can give name and you can type the which format you want to save there are other save formats the pen pdn format is a pen dot net native format in which all the layers and information of the pen dot net file is saved that is in, in that pdn file is uh, useful for the pdn purpose but uh, normal image whatever we use or upload they are the uh, important are the png format and jpeg format there are the other formats are also we will study about the image formats in uh, next another upcoming classes so for here i took the format as jpeg so once i click the save as i will get the option the image will be shown uh, original size that is size is zero so here you can see the it is the absolute size and this is the size of the image and uh, you can change uh, different option by saving when you click the quality the preview layer it also shows the file size before saving so you can keep uh, keep information on the size of the file so when you click okay the image will be saved and the uh, start mark will be not there similarly if you close the file here the image will be closed it will ask you for unsaved if you don't save the image will be as it is save it the image will be saved with all current changes so as i showed how to open similarly by using close you can close files the shortcut for zoom in and zoom out is the control plus control plus zoom out control minus zoom in and control zero is the size zero of the image that is at 100% of zoom you can achieve size 0 by simply 100% writing in here the text box and that is and that is same as using control 0 and uh, this button is a fix the image into the can 
fit the canvas into the screen so it will get that's all for the today's video i will join you in the next please like subscribe this channel i will post new videos thanks